things are getting a bit crowded here in the galaxy. Hello, hello everyone, I am Andrew Dorn, also known as the 12th guy on the internet. Today is uh, some more Let's Play Stellaris. In the previous episode, uh, we met more of our neighbors, uh, like the hierarchy and um, the council and the commonwealth and also the forerunners, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, hello. They've opened their borders again, but that will probably change in a few months. Um, and they've declared a rivalry again. Uh, so what is happening right now? Well, we are in the process of colonizing a few worlds, and uh, this fleet is maxed out. However, we are waiting on uh, this fleet of destroy <clears throat> destroyers to be ready. Um, they will be used as a supplement, uh, for, uh, this fleet over here. Prime 223 and Prime 401 are going to work together to hopefully take care of this, uh, little, like, I guess, swarm nexus of, uh, of various drones. Um, they do outnumber us a lot. And it is a bit concerning, but I think because of uh, the fact that they, they're, if I just grab one of these fleets, uh, if we look at their cutting red lasers, oh, hello, put that off to the side. Uh, if we look at their cutting lasers, uh, they actually is minus 50% uh, to shield damage. So we've loaded up all these type 13 destroyers with no armor and just shields. Uh, and some regenerative hull tissues and also weapons that are really good against armor because they don't have shields uh, precursor to discovery uh, possible irregularity we should investigate this where is that do 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 you track on map ah over there where is the nearest uh, are you close by yeah you are all right, research projects in that system, and you're there, so I'll have you there. Um, we'll unrestrict that system, and everyone has their orders. Actually, hold on. No, I'm still gonna gonna restrict that just in case. I know how the AI is sometimes, um, so we'll just we'll just let that be. Um, Let's see. Maintenance is up by 71% because we're over our fleet cap. That's fine. Um, if I need to, I'll requisition another fleet of destroyers just in case. I could do that now, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Wouldn't necessarily be the the worst idea and then we're just going to disband them afterwards so should I have another fleet on I think we should definitely have another type 13 fleet on standby for sure so let's do that let's see do 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 one two three four five oh I am lacking alloys okay well, we'll have that, and that'll just be like a spare fleet. And it's going to take you a while. What all do we have going on in our situation log? Uh, probing the dimensional portal. That's going to be finishing up in a few days. And what have we got in the technology aspect? Uh, experimental subspace navigation. Special project complete. Special project has been complete. Uh, oh, hello, the null void. Leads to a dimension of pure entropy. It's difficult to even get sensor readings because the very energy of our pings is rapidly dissipated. Our best theory is that this null void is a dimension where the majority of zero point energy is negative, and so any positive energy which was uh, once present which was once present has long since been used up. Knowing this it might be possible to construct a weapon. Oh null be
I said I didn't want to use energy weapons, but the null beam sounds so cool. Oh, that's amazing. That's probably a physics research option. So after this is done, we'll try and research that. Uh, Prime 007. Excellent. Uh, ship upkeep minus 10%. Yeah, let's do that. What the hell? Oh. It's my alarm. <laughs> An alarm to, uh, remind myself to take my medication during dinner. Which, I don't know if I'm gonna have dinner, because I had really late lunch. I had, um, some beef, but it was a little dry. So I put in, like, sweet and spicy, um, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, and oh my gosh, it was great. Uh, artifact recovered. Successfully recovered an artifact, uh, origins can be traced back to the precursor civilization. Our database are currently being updated. Nice. Um... How far along are we? I feel like we're... Oh, wow. We've got all of them. Cyberx is uh, home system located. Uh, scientists and officer of managed to reduce... Uh, contact the nearest Situation science ship. Adjusted. Where is it? Oh, where the hell is it? Hybrix home sister. Oh, my gosh. Really? Wow, it's never been that close to me. Like... Uh... I think the last time, yeah, I think the the last time I ever like, uh, what am I trying to say? When I when I did the um, my first successful run was the Tectano Collective, like a custom empire I made, and um, Cybrix Alpha, like I had to rush for it because there was um, I was playing as driven assimilators, and it's like if we want to use this as our our point so it was like it connected to a system like off to the right and i was off to the left and then there was an empire to the right and if you know where it is then like everyone knows where it is so i made like a mad dash to get to it cybrix uh central nexus it would seem that the uh cybrix reevaluated their uh, galactic crusade against organic life at some point uh, during its 17th year, uh, whether this change was prompted by losses on the battlefield or an ideological shift in their networked cons um, consensus, we may never know. But for whatever reason, Cybrix decided to halt their campaign. They began a slow withdrawal that lasted nearly a century uh, until they eventually vanished completely. We now know that they retreated to this system where they had constructed a massive ring world designed to house their entire civilization. They isolated themselves here for several millennia until an independent explorer chanced upon their system and spread its location to the rest of the galaxy. The news that the dreaded Cybrix had been found again prompted several neighboring powers to organize a massive military expedition which bombarded the Cybrix ring into rubble. Strangely, the Cybrics never seem to offer, uh, seem to have offered no resistance whatsoever. So we gained 7,000 unity, 500 engineering, 200 credits, and so that's so crazy though. It's just like the Cybrics, they were like, they were determined exterminators, but then they just stopped. And it was just, they, without very little fanfare, if at all, they just retreated back to Cybrics Alpha, made a ring world. And just like shut everything off except for that, and then someone found them, and then the rest of the galaxy was like, "Oh my God, no!" and murdered them. Like, yeah, they were murder machines, but like they gave up and they they just stopped and they went back. Fascinating. And that was enough to push us into a new uh, thing. Service speed, yes please. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that got us another one? Holy hell. Alright, yeah, let's do data bank uplink. That got us two traditions. Oh, yep, there's... 
See them right here. So that part was completely destroyed. That one was just, it was exposed. See that another part was broken. So it was broken in like four parts. And then you can see the, the parts that weren't broken, but they were basically vented or cooked. Probably looks like they were cooked because they're effectively a desert. And then there's just debris fields. Wow. It's crazy. The science vessel is going to be uh, researching technological acquisitions. I guess just the, um, the star. Okay. System survey complete. Yeah. Uh, planetary processor has been researched. Excellent. Um, let's up naval cap. And go back. Construction ship. You're taking care of all that. And then I would also like that taken care of. Alright. Uh, do, 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 do. You're about to get construction complete. that ship. Okay, so... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I can't get you any more ships. So go ahead and head on there. Well, I can do Corvettes, but whatever. So that's looking like... Construction complete. Oh, hello. All right. Oh, because you want more Planetary ships. But you can't have more ships. Okay, whatever. Um... So you, you're overcrowded. But here's the thing. If you can wait just until one more pop is done, we can get a job going. Uh, do, 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 do. Food processing center. Here's the thing. No one's taking the food jobs. Okay. Uh, can we do a ministry of production? We can. Wait, why would we do that, though? Yeah, that, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, let's do an energy grid. That works. Um, so, I'm waiting for all of these to be colonized. And then we'll make that a sector. And for some reason, Garia, Gaira, or whatever, um... It's just outside the sector, which is really weird, but okay. Uh, let's see now. And those two, we're waiting on you. You're heading that way. So the Precursor Civilization, that happened a lot faster than I was expecting. But it is a much smaller uh, empire. Maybe we just got a really good seed. Yeah, maybe that's it. Settlement procedure initiated. Oh, hey. Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. Let's get you mineral purification plants. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. So that's you two, and then you're almost there. And then you're on your way there. There's a science ship that is... Okay. I feel like... Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's bring you there. Where are you going? Oh. The Veil. Oh, is this the Gaia world? Oh, it is. I didn't realize it was called the Veil. Hmm, interesting. I might keep that name. Just because it... I don't know, it seems fitting. Yeah, I'm going to keep that name. Uh, it's the only world that's not going to be renamed to, like, a server. And that's because it's the Veil. And I think that's ultimately... That's kind of what I... What I did for the Tectano Collective was, see, I knew you guys would have job openings soon, sort of. Um, I 
Okay, that's three. Oh, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking of, um... Uh, trade centers. The, the trade post things. Um... I... <gasps> okay. Um... Maintenance depot, that'll be plus three. That's two jobs, yeah. Okay. Well, I can't move anyone, because then that slot will get disabled, so... Eh, whatever. Uh, everyone is there. Excellent. I'm going to... Disable and give you guys the attack order. And then, hopefully, hopefully this works. I'm not going to do a safety save. We live with our mistakes in this run. Oh, it looks like uh, took care of housing no issue. Okay. Yep. All right, we're in combat. Uh. Oh, jeez. They are swarming about. Oh, wow. Their friends came in. Hmm. One eye on that. We already lost seven ships in one fleet, two in another. Okay. Oh, one. <laughs> I just saw a group of ships just shoot off to the left. Okay. Alrighty. Um. They are moving around real fast. Hmm. See, I know it's like it's all like entirely a numbers game, and I was like, I, I don't know. Part of me was like real hoping that I could have had the um. Like, the advantage of the fact that their weapons aren't good against shields, but, uh, whoops. I know there's going to be, like, one person in the comments being like, It's because your, your numbers aren't that high. It's like, yes, I know. I'm well aware. There are some things I may not realize right away, like, the first time I had an election... I was like, oh, what happened? Because, like, a scientist got elected as president. I was like, oh, what happened? Did he die? Oh, well. Because uh, I didn't really care. And someone was like, they didn't die. They became the president. I'm like, all right. This, I mean, I'm like six episodes ahead. And I, I figured that out. But okay. <laughs> there's, like, trying to help. And then there's, like, a level of, like, it's because you didn't do that. And it's like, I'm well aware. It's, it's, I know. Uh, why are you still not? Okay. All right. Uh, do, 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 10, 14. Let's combine. Uh, excuse you. Game. Oh, okay. They've they've entered in from all different points. Uh, subject integration has begun. Cool. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. And then you actually can't do that. Okay. So that could have gone better. Cool. Cool. Uh, t uh, yeah, sure, we'll extend our deal. Uh, and... Hmm. I'm curious if I should go... Corvettes. Because that could be a viable solution. It's type, type 5 is the one... Oops, that's policies what the hell um 
Yeah, type 5 was our anti technological mining ship vessel. Uh, Star Fortress. Excellent. Uh, Ion Thruster Alloy Mega Fortress Forges. Fortresses. Yes. Um, ooh, Habitats. Yes, let's get that going. Those are very expensive, but so worth it. Oh, we are maxed out on money. Alright, let's buy some of that. Um, okay, well... Let's get these upgraded. And we are lacking five. <laughs> cool. Uh, sell that. Diplomatic alert. Military confrontation detected. Really? Wow. How badly do you two hate each other? Apparently a lot to go to war. Why are you guys at war? Okay, this... This, I gotta know. So, oh, you're on the defensive. Why are you at war with them? What was your... What was your... Ideology. So are you waging a war of ideology? I mean, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, let's get you upgraded. Oh, you know what? These... Oh. Construction complete. I don't... I just realized I don't have... Why do you have negative one jobs? Okay. Um, well... I know I want to take advantage of those two... Mining slots, just so we get those up and running. Um, have this... Why don't we have this be an aggro world? That works for me. Uh, and then four districts left. Let's do that. Um, have this be a mining world. And then there's... Oh, there's nine left? Okay. And I am lacking some minerals. So you have blockers? Oh, radioactive wasteland, bomb creators. Okay. Uh, technological. Ooh, nice. They can start doing that stuff. Uh, curator lab. Get the energy nexus. <gasps> no beam. No void beam. Uh, plus four hundred percent shield damage. Dang. Planetary surface settlement established. That's an, that's crazy. Okay. Um this could be a generator world. Yeah, that would work. Um da 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 Food, I'm going to sell a bunch, and then buy a bunch of you. Uh, the Veil, oh man, there's so many options. Well, we want minerals, for starters. Um, then we want that. So it's going to be a relatively balanced world. What is going on? Probably fireworks. Even though where I live, that's technically illegal, but whatever. <laughs> I've given up on caring. It's like, if they want to burn their own house down, that's fine. Just don't burn my house and, you know, I won't have an issue. Alright, um... Well... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, we don't have mega engineering. Um, and we're also lacking 7,000 alloys. 
which is unfortunate. So this is like a long-term project kind of deal. Cause we'll we'll have to wait on it. Uh, all right, let's just start messing around with the subspace navigation, just because it's something for my science ships to do. And then you actually can't do that. <laughs> I forget. Um, okay. Technological acquisition success. Technological acquisition. No beam is ready. Hot dang. Uh, automatic exploration. FTL. Oh, hello. Surviving infrastructure. The survived great nuclear war, which devastated Prime, have proved both a great boon to our colonists. Have proved to be a great boon to our colonists. The alien civilization that once lived here built highways connecting their major population centers with some of them still in good enough condition to be used today. We have also been able to recycle large amounts of building material. Heck yeah. Do we get a refund on that? I don't think we get a refund on that. Uh, let's try that again. Let's get that refund. Construct a bot, minus 10%, and then... Oh, wait, hold on. No, yeah, this is this is the right one. Or is this the right one? Oh, no, they're both called Prime. This is it. Oh, my gosh, I'm an idiot. I'm a big old dummy. All right, so let's get that. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I wasn't paying attention. This is why you should pay attention. Uh, any... Okay, you're working on that. Um... We're gonna wait. Uh, oh yeah, science. <laughs> science needs to happen. Uh, do 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 Could up our research station output. That would be handy. Surveys people is 25%. Improved reactor. Uh, I want that going. Uh, you. What are you up to? Uh, do you have a mineral pure? You do, okay. And it looks like your mining drone jobs are not fully up there, but okay. Um, I would like you get a chemical plant up and running. You have one unemployed. I would like to move them. Because I want those jobs filled. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. So I haven't built that fleet. That's okay. Uh, we are busy taking care of things. So, yeah, that's all queued up. So is that. You. I'm waiting on the blockers. Right? I think so. If I could still, yeah, you know what? Why don't we get those ordered? Construction complete. And then get those ordered. Um, do, 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 do. Who? Oh, right. Um, sector. The Veil. Oh, that's great that it's called the Veil because it takes on that name. Right. Right, 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 right. Uh well, let's um We're gonna call this Veil Server Alpha. And then that's the Veil. And then this is Veil Server Beta. Veil Server Beta. 
and then this is Veil vale Server Beta 1. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. How could I let this happen? Probably oversight, because I was just so excited about the prospect of colonizing new worlds and new civil... starting... not new civilizations, but whatever. Um, and this is Veil vale Server Beta... Oops, no. No, we had beta. This is gamma. Right. Veil vale server gamma one. And for some reason it... <laughs> yeah, gamma is just too long. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's do that. That'll be handy. Alrighty then. So... Bulldozer. Yeah, okay. I think we got a small refund from that. Alrighty. So that's taken care of. And we're just waiting on... Technological acquisition success. The Mysterious Moon of Veil Server Beta 1. Has been settled for a while. Some data irregularities have been noticed. Specifically the moon. Uh, Veil Server Beta 2A. Does not seem to be made... Remotely similar material. This is just fascinating. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then um, hyperlink register. Uh, let's do a communications jammer. We need to prevent them from reaching that system. Ooh, terraforming gases. Unlocks feature terraforming. Hmm. Fascinating. I think fleet command limit plus 20 would definitely be good because some of these ships... Some uh, some of these admirals are like, we want more ships. And it's like, but you can't physically command more ships. They're like, well, make it so. And I'm like, alright, fine, whatever. Oh, hello. They have been growing. They hunger for more territory. Speaking of more territory, um, these are kind of valuable star systems, and I would like to have them. If anything, just for the minerals. Uh, do, 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 do. So you are being taken care of, and then you all will be done in 80 days or so. Construction complete. Um, I'm waiting on... Complete. Um building more um, what has it uh, more ships <laughs> what has it freaking blast um, the reason why is because I've just been waiting for these star bases to upgrade so that way I can do um, I can put extra shipyards uh, probing the void after years of study, uh, beginning to feel they understand the null void. There are currents, forces, some flow which gently pushes against the portal, uh, bringing the traces of dark matter we are able to collect. In theory, it should be possible to make a portal more visible to this f force. Should result in a larger harvest. A larger harvest, you say? Uh, yeah, I want to research both of those. Let's get that going. You are almost done. I am excited. Construction complete. Um, two more of those, and then resource silos. Yeah, let's do that. Our cap is looks like 17,000 Coolio Delio uh, so you're on your way down there it looks like they don't recover so whatever damage they sustain like that's it so we could do a couple more probe attacks uh, experimental subspace navigation is complete cool um I guess move there um, and then the other science vessel should be back soon 
28 to so the end of October. Well, I guess now it's this year. Okay. Construction complete. Um. Well, the sh the fleet that is ready to go, we'll move them into position. Construction complete. Excellent. Uh, Gamma One. Looks like you are ready for a job. Well, you have plenty of jobs. Um. You know, let's get a bioreactor up and running. That'd be good. Um, let's see. I have a world that needs people. Which one was it? It was a chunky world. This is the one. There we go. <laughs> it was a chunky world. Yes, I am good at the language. All right. Um. Okay. So you're there. You waiting on that fleet? Oh, uh, you're busy investigating the moon, right? The weird moon. Yes. All right. Well, actually, you know what? We can go ahead. Oh, I'm also waiting on the shipyard. Okay. I was like, well, we can just go ahead and take care of that. No, not yet. Not yet. Um, let's see. Are we researching habitats? We are. Um, largely self-sustaining habitats. Um, theoretical self-sustaining space station designed for permanent habitation. And we've unlocked a thing... Leader experience gain plus 25, leader cap increased by one. Cool deal. And then the last one is Pops working with research. Have their upkeep reduced by 20%. Nice. Complete. It's all in the name of science. Yeah, move there. Alrighty. Resettle. Give me that menial droid. Uh, you. Excellent. Go down, and then go back up. And then do the hokey pokey. Because that's what it's all about. <laughs> um... Oh, that's curator order, right. Of course. Um, can we... Already improving. Uh, tell us the mysteries of the universe. Uh, exceedingly powerful entities lurking complete. within certain star systems. Greek possible for lives. Curator agents have painstakingly. What else do you have to offer? Uh, can we recruit one of your scientists? Of course, you shall have your donation. Excellent. And now they are part of a pool of leaders. Hmm. Trying to growing the void is gonna take sixty four months. What if uh, we replaced you? Research speed plus fifteen percent. Um. Yeah. What? Yeah. If we do that, go to our situation log. It now takes 56 months. Nice. That shaved off quite a bit of time. Uh, all right. So you are good to go. So oh, what's the fleet we're working on? Uh, Prime 223. All right. Um, cool deal. So let's grab... Uh, two destroyers and some corvettes. Two, four. So that's four right there. Five, six, seven, eight. That'd be 24. Six, eight, 30. There we go. Let that run. Oh, shoot. Is that. No, it's fine. It's all good. Station's been built. <laughs> Construction complete. Uh, oh, hello. 
I thought there was something behind it. Uh, Rogue Moonbase, the uh, Mysteries of the Veil Server Beta 2A have been revealed. A detailed survey revealed that the moon is slightly lopsided with the far side of the moon having a disproportionately large share of the total mass. The reason for this, we believe, is that Veil Server Beta 2A once orbited another planet which was destroyed by a cataclysmic explosion. The extra thickness of the far side of the Veil Server of Veil Server Beta 2A is because that was the side which faced its original planet. The extra material is part of this mass. Uh, eventually into the orbit of Veil Server Veil Server Beta 1. Which I just realized that we need to swap Veil Server Beta 1 and Veil Server Beta 2. Um speculate the planet once uh that the the planet was destroyed by a weapon or perhaps just an attempt to create a powerful uh a power source based on dark matter uh high are the concentrations on planetary hmm dark matter drawing nice and a source of dark matter excellent yes i do declare all right, so let's go in here. So yeah, that's that's two A. Okay, so this is Veil Server Beta two, and this is Veil Server Beta one. Well, that explains everything. Maybe I should have checked before I had done that, but that's fine. It's okay. <laughs> it only took forty minutes for me to be like, hey, wait a minute. Or less than that. I don't know how long it took me. But someone was probably annoyed. <laughs> Alrighty. What are we... Ah, oh, yes. Food processing facility. Because you are an agro world. Um, you have two slots left. Uh, can't build any more of you or you. For you you know what yeah let's build a couple of nexus districts uh, and also get a purification plant uh, do, 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 do. resettle you uh, why is your thing at 50% oh it's cuz there's no amenities we need amenities we can do that, uh, we would have to wait for those jobs to fill, or we could do drone storage, which is just plus three. Construction complete. Uh, let's see with the maintenance depot. Uh, do, 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 do. Anyone else low on amenities? No, but there is some deviancy. Okay. <laughs> Server alpha one. Let's see, you are indeed maxed out, okay. Uh, we'll check that out in a hot minute. Um, mineral purification plant? Yes, let's do that. Uh, alright, tech, uh, sweet. Antimatter reactor. <gasps> let's do that. Let's exploit some dark matter. Alright, let's get you down here. So that's a total of what? 2.6k give or take Cybrix Alpha also I noticed that it said like two energy credits and then we like built a thing and it was like oh it's gonna be one energy credit it's like cool thanks thanks for lying to me Construction you are upgrading to a star hold excellent uh, let's do that and then I already have a communication shammer um, yeah, let's do a disruption field generator. We will guard this station, station system with our lives. Um, <laughs> maintenance drones. Is there a difference between... Okay, so that's a maintenance drone. And that's a tech drone. So there is a difference. Alright, well, let's get a maintenance depot online. Alrighty. I, f I feel like I could be wrong, 
but I think uh, maintenance drones get a high priority, and so like it just kind of works itself out complete. eventually. There we go. So we have two um, sets of uh, maintenance depots. So it should be oh because I think we have a thing where it's like there's there's already two maintenance drones. Okay. Um, patron of the arts. And so you have a uh, patron is coming to an end. Yes. Your opinion is maxed out, but we shall continue to give. Because even though we are robots, we believe in the arts. Uh, <laughs> there's a part of our programming that demands that the arts be funded. Because otherwise, life is boring, even for a robot. Uh, move there. Out of curiosity, why is this world... Why is like... Oh, because this world has a lot of mineral deposits, and then this one makes up the last three. Okay. I was like, why is that world so valuable? Like, this, I could kind of make sense, but because there's all these, like, massive asteroids. Which, actually, the most actually comes from this... Over here. A molten world. Mustafa. Alright. Uh, so you're there. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. You will be there shortly. Situation log. Uh, probing the void will be done in 25 months. Go to our tech tree real quick. Um, working on that. Oh, hello. Research agreement proposal. Cool. Uh, Zero Corp. Nice. Uh, what do you sell? Oh, you sell exotic, exotic gases. Bleh, I couldn't say that. Uh, so the Commonwealth is in an agreement with the sentience. Where is that? Oh, they're here. Excellent. Oh, wow. They've really expanded up. Um. Are you sure you want to do that, buddy? I guess border friction's not of their concern. Yeah, they're they're pretty chill with each other. Um. Who are you? Oh, you you've really made them mad. Your rivals with them, your allied to their rivals. Um Machine intelligence, okay. Um So if we ignore at war, uh rivals, close borders, egalitarian rabble. Ah, uh, interesting, okay. Oh you know what I just realized? We don't have a rival. They've got a rivalry going. Um, declare rivalry. I would like to generate that 0.5. Cool, thank you. Um, out of curiosity, who else are you rivaling with? Uh, probably be easier to look at that. Um, our rival. I think you're the only one that you're rivaling against. Okay, um, if I look at you, it's plus 30. Really? I thought that they wouldn't like us because we're a machine intelligence. Because they don't like them because they're a machine intelligence. Whatever. <laughs> See what the machines, the servers have seen. Okay, yeah, you've Construction you basically complete. said the same thing as always. Alright, cool, Cybrix Alpha. I uh, can't upgrade you again because I need 546 alloys. Alright. I'll, I'll just stay there for now. Um, when you're done with that, why not go there? Alright, you two are there. Let's do it. Oh boy, I am nervous. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, got a lot more ships that have 
shields uh, instead of armor. So that will delay the inevitable. Commercial pack invitation. Cool. Um, oh, you're asking for... Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I'm a little busy. Alright, uh, took care of that. Fleets are moving in. Uh, oh, this is right dangerous. Oh, that station is two point. Oh, okay. Okay. There's no reason to be worried, right? Let's get the cinematic camera going. Let's, um... Let's slow down a little bit so we can truly appreciate this. Oh, looks like they've turned their sights. Oh, they've this fleet has split. What's going on? Oh, this is this is the weird thing about the combat AI. I think I mentioned it before, but they will like sometimes just completely like split their attention, and that's not a good thing because then the game just like takes advantage of that and destroys them. But this is a really cool shot. They are slowly working on those. Let's see, I think these are all the destroyers. And you can see the Corvettes whirling around. Jeez. Alright. Make it go fast. <laughs> um, so it looks like we have uh, 1.6k left. And come on. Home base ore grinder, boom! Mining drone base destroyed. Untold riches. Cool. Um, you two need to go back. <laughs> uh, also, let's call this Gamma Station. Gamma Station, Alpha Station. Uh, da, 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 da. Alpha whoops, station. And then. Da, 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 beta station. Cool. Alright, so you guys are heading out. You. Um, research projects. And then survey system. Survey shows. <laughs> Alright, and then you will just be in there for a hot minute. Actually, you move there. And then be ready to act. Uh, yeah, extend the deal. The deal! Must be extended. I don't know. Uh, cool. Research speed plus 10%. Nice. Um, oh, I guess they always had that. <gasps> One month! One month! Oh, it's so close. End of the month, here we go, and it's done! Calling the Void. Um, a vast signal amplifier has sent a blast of energy through the portal. Uh, the effect was immediate. The pressure on the far side of the portal is noticeably stronger, and with it comes an increased... Yes! Yes! Excellent. I'm so excited. Ship fragments. Dissected. All right, let's see now. Dark matter plus one. Uh, debris analyzed. Nice. Who knows? Maybe with all this debris, we'll we won't have to like research the drone laser itself. It'll just like give it to us. That'd be kind of cool. And we're still waiting on this, which is going to be seventy-two months. Uh, and you guys are going back. Cool. Your thing is done. Excellent. Uh, can we clear that out? No, we cannot. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, upgrade that. 
food processing. I would like those two, please. Thank you very much. Um, so we can do that. Uh, yeah, let's get drone storage just because it comes with amenities, which is nice. Mining drone laser, uh, plus 20%, ion thruster plus 10%. Cool. Alright, another bit of debris. Oh, hello. Uh, you are waiting for things. There we go. Ah, with that, we got ourselves the mining drone laser. Cool. See, I knew if we just waited until after they were destroyed, we would have gotten that technology. It's all part of the plan. Um... To resettle that unemployed drone because I need it. Alright, uh, you two have finished repairs. Excellent. Technological acquisition successful. Ship fragments dissected. Uh, okay, what did we get? Ah, fleet command limit increased. Uh, let's take care of that because some of these plants have dangerous wildlife and I don't like that. Uh, let's see, you want 40 ships, cool. You want every single time <laughs> these guys they want they want forty ships and I'm like okay give me a while but I I can get you forty ships after this tech passes tech is complete and they're like oh we want sixty ships and I'm like no you can't no what. <sighs> Uh This game. System it's a gem. I love it. <laughs> Alright, so I guess just chill out over here. Move there. And build ourselves a mining station. Really, was that are you seriously done with your Wow, that was quick. Holy dang, I had just, mm, I just sent the order, and they're done with it now. Oh, wow. Are you happy you're going to have, well, actually, now that I think about it, uh, it is a primarily destroyer fleet. That would make a lot of sense. Um, where is that? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where the heck did it go? No, it's still there. It's fine. Uh, build mining stations, and then, I don't know, maybe chill out here. Check out the sites. And it's about to jump in. Cool. Oh, hey, there's a sign ship. Assisting research. Moving to server beta system. Oh, cool. Thank you. Wait, how do you do that? What? Assist research. Yeah, let's do that. I guess you just go to a planet. Huh, okay. Wow, I honestly, I never, I never saw that button. And I, I didn't realize it was a thing uh, until just now. So I'm learning things every day. Also, like someone, so if you may or may not know, uh, I sometimes have a hard time accepting compliments because like some, someone will be like, Oh wow, you did this thing. It's really cool. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Because I, I know that like deep down, I probably could do better. Like, especially when it comes to like, uh, some of the things that I make, it's like, someone's like, Oh wow. The, the way you made that short film, it was so good. But like, I know, that it was all it was rushed and it just complete. was bad but they really like it um and they're just amazed that i was able to make it in the first place um and even to some extent i have that same feeling like carries over into 
playing video games. Like, there was one comment that I got on uh, the first episode of Stellaris for, like, the first run. Uh, some guy commented, and he was like, wow, you're so good at Stellaris. And I'm like, you really think so? Thanks. And I was I was about to add a tag, uh, a little extra thing that said, yeah, I might be okay at the game, but there are other people who are much better than me. And I just, I cut it off at, uh, thanks. Because I didn't want to be that kind of person. But, like, it's, uh... I still struggle with that. Well, I guess we don't need ships that are exclusively meant for killing mining drones. So I guess we can, like, I don't know, like, put in some variety into our fleets now. <laughs> sure. All right. I, re I requested those. We'll see in a in a hot minute. Um, are you looking to go to war with anyone? Hmm. Maybe. Our fleet power is equivalent. Um. Uh, what about them? Could we theoretically? Could we assist in a war? Construction complete. Hmm. I don't know. That's the issue. Um, at 30, 1.3, 1.7. Um, yeah, okay, you can move there. Uh, we're maxed out on minerals. We'll hold on to that thought. Because I might need... Yep, here we go. Um... Build those. Cool. Uh, and then... Yeah, we can't deal with those just yet. Okay. Cool. Oh, and I... I, I kind of... Like, I noticed it, but like I never mentioned it in the first place. But, like, you can see the growth of the colony. So it's like when it's just like a, a small little colony. It's just like one or two buildings but then it's like you know you get to like the capital and it's like huge buildings up front which is kind of cool and then also you can kind of see like these are effectively like layers so if i yeah so like you can see those in the back this really look like you don't really notice it on here because these are all like fringe planets like they're all like icy worlds but then it's like you get to here and it's like they're in the exact same spot. They're like layers in Photoshop, and then like you know, you know, it's like here, and then here, and then like here. <laughs> it's kind of cool, um, and something that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, are you? You still have ten ship slots left. Um, hold off. Cause I want to get everyone up to 50. Well, if I requisition, well, no, I wouldn't be able to requisition. Was that 37 ships in total? Yeah, we don't have the resources for that. Uh, we're gonna hold off for a hot minute. We're not gonna go to war just yet. Um, I think definitely. Um, 29. So let me grab the unemployed. Ooh, there we go. Um, I want to get alloyed foundries up and running. Uh, and then we can finally do that. Nice. Uh, nah, we're good. Uh, galactic force projection would up our naval cap and fleet cap. Uh, interstellar dominance, claim influence cost, grabs the void. Eternal Vigilance, Mastery of Nature, Executive Vigor, hmm, 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 hmm. And Matic Engineering.
Oh, so I just finally realized the thing, our technology and engineering is too arcane for others to reverse engineer. I finally, it finally clicked that that means that if you were like doing, let's say multiplayer, for example, and you had a fleet battle with someone and you had, um, enigmatic engineering, they would not be able to analyze any of the debris from your ships is basically what that's saying. So you could do it for the sensor range, which is helpful. Fleet command up by 80. Mm. <laughs> this is a tough one. Uh, let's... Oh, shoot. Nope. Galactic force projection. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work out just fine. Um, let's see. Anything else? Not really. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, if that's the case, uh, let's sell that. Okay. And then we'll buy some resources. And then... I'm just going to manually order some ships. Because uh, I don't trust whatever that might request. Um, ship designers, I want to look at my destroyers. Uh, type 10s. I have no idea what we'd be going up against over here. So I'm not entirely sure. Type 12s. Here's the thing. We can always request more later. You know what? Let's get a bunch of Type 1s. When in doubt, go nuclear is what I always say. <laughs> There's actually an emote on my Discord server that's uh, the nuclear option. And then I figured that, you know, instead of just the nuclear option, we should also have... Um... It's just out of curiosity. You have, clo you have closed borders to everyone. Okay. Um... What was that? Um, but yeah, so, um, that was one of the things I was, what was I trying to say? Oh, yeah, gosh dang it, I'm just losing my train of thought all over the place today. So, basically, there's a nuclear option, which is like the, the nuclear the radiation warning thing, uh, and then also, I figured that you couldn't just have that on its own, um, so I also added in a, a mushroom cloud and it's called explosion. So typically you do that, you use the explosion after someone else uses a nuclear option. Construction complete. So that's, that's the whole point of that. Technological acquisition successful. Ah, sweet. Habitats are available. We probably need mega engineering though. Yeah, we do actually. What am I saying? Maybe. <laughs> Um, swarmer missiles, antimatter missiles. Ooh, antimatter missiles. Mining station output. That would be nice, though. Nebula refinery. Hmm. Ion thruster could be handy. I thought the need for propellant. Hmm. 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 Zero-G refineries. There's so many good options. I think we should definitely go with... Oh, gosh. What if we went with Swarmer Missiles? That'd, that'd be good. Yeah, let's do that. So that's happening. We are preparing ourselves for war. Will war happen? Most likely. I feel like I know the state of affairs in this galaxy pretty well. Uh, da, 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 da. So that's upgrading right now. Cool. Um, let's see now. Uh, oh, peace offer. Status quo. Neither side currently occupies claim territory. 
Uh, white piece without border adjustments. Okay. <gasps> America's favorite pastime was that <laughs> were those gunshots or are those fireworks? It's fireworks. Most likely. I hope so. Technological acquisition successful. Uh technological we can get that Woo! Hyperdrive threes. You know what I just realized? <sighs> I don't think I've updated any of our designs to use uh, Hyperdrive 2s, no. Autocomplete, jeez. Type 2, autocomplete. Oh gosh, these are all outdated. No wonder I was struggling, Jesus Christ. Uh, also, you don't, I don't think you need that anymore. Yeah, you don't. Type 5. Updated. All of the designs here have been updated. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so upgrade those two. Uh, I am so observant. God bless. Uh, and upgrade that. Excellent. Um... Oh, I remember why I did that design. I was like, why did I do that for the Type 10? Took me a second. Then I remembered. Okay. Um, so let's see. Destroyers and that's cruisers. And battleships. Cruisers, battleships. Titans. Colossus. Okay, I was oh, I went silent there because I was trying to figure out because I wanted to design some defense platforms and I was trying to figure out like what type number they should get and I realized uh, type sixty because there's um, there's a bunch of ships that are that like when you look at the designer corvettes on the top and then defense platforms are at the bottom we have corvettes and destroyers and there's like four ship types between destroyers and um, defense platforms. So that's why I was like, hmm, wait. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty balanced. Uh, type 60. And then new design. Uh, that, that. Out of comp Whoa, that's right. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. I completely... For some reason, I forgot about the null beam technology. So, you know, yeah, we'll have an entirely beam type. Or uh, solely a beam platform. Type 61. Um, get some point defense. Uh, type 62. Uh, do, 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 do. Type 63. Excellent. And then I want a defense platform that is entirely coil guns. Because why not? Yeah, they're still called coil guns at this stage. Uh, auto complete. And this is going to be type 64, right? I would just like to double check. Yep, type 64. Nice. There we go. Uh, oh, yes, we can uh, exploit dark matter. Where are you? You're there. Um, so grab that. Um, grab that, and then go up here and get that. Excellent. Um, sell a hundred of you. So gain, oh, I didn't, 
<laughs> I didn't realize that it tells you how much you're gonna get from selling it. I just kind of like did some pseudo math in my head. Also, it's just like it says it right there. Oh my god, I'm. I don't pay attention. I just see minus fifty, and I'm like, yep. And then sometimes if it's in the red, then I'll notice it. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I pay attention sometimes, believe it or not. Uh, okay, I'm going to grab one more. I don't always pay attention. Okay, so... Da -da 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 -da. Let's get some ships in here. Oh, wait, hold on. Don't you guys need a... Yeah, you guys need upgrade. Upgrade for 154. Upgrade for 700. There we go. So that's happening right now. Cool deal. And we're still not the president. Yep, exactly. We we don't have a strong enough economy. We're just we're so small. Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentation successful. Thank you. They still really want some ships. Uh, but that won't Ship happen anytime new. Completed. Anytime soon. Anytime new. Oh, gosh. Alright, so... Get that out of here. It's relatively strong. It's a sort of strong fleet. Um, they look pretty content. They're 20 Type 13 destroyers. Uh, you know what? I would like... them... to go up here and kind of, like, poke around. Like, just kind of see if they can get some sensor readings. Because that would be nice. Holy crap, how many gateways do they have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Jesus Christ! Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, jeez. Oh man, I I knew I said it to times five, but holy crap! Some of these guys are gonna get eaten alive when the mid game happens. <laughs> oh no! Uh, we only have one L cluster in sight. Oh man! Yo, curators, tell us about the mysteries. What else do you have to offer? Oh, what do you know about the L gates? Uh, 500 credits to get us an L gate insight. Yes, please. Thank you. Yeet. So now we have two. Just five more. And then we can kickstart the endgame crisis. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's going to be great. I just know it. Uh, so, are you... Oh, hello. Ah, yeah, sure, it's a deal. Uh, okay, so... You get a bioreactor. Get some more credits flowing. Not aggression pack invitation, cool. Um... Bioreactor. <laughs> you know, I did set for a Marauding Empire to spawn, and I just haven't seen any. Interesting. Maybe I did, but then I accidentally turned it off, because that has happened a couple of times. Um... It would be nice to have the extra 20. We're not necessarily hurting for money, though. It would be nice to get more. You know what? Let's get an alloy plant up and running. 
there's two. You. Thirty-three. So if I get two more. Boop boop. And we can get a maintenance depot up and running. That'd be good. Um, Job-based production plus 12. And actually, you know what? That, I think, really right there. Because I was like, hmm, I wonder what's a good stopping point. That's going to be a good stopping point for today. We're just waiting on some other things to take care of. Uh, but once that's done, then we're just, like, good to go. So I'm going to call it here. We did a lot of story progress this episode, which is really great. I uh, got plenty of pockets of, of dark matter resources, which is really nice. In fact, we get uh, two a month, which is really good. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Let's Play Stellaris. Bye-bye.